Phoenix was directed by longtime X Men writer Simon Kimber and was also written by him as well. And stars James McAvoy, Michael Fassbender, Jessica Chastain, and Sophie Turner. And it follows Jean Grey, who absorbs all this cosmic power in space and her having to learn to deal with it. But along the way, a lot of tragic stuff happens while this alien race tries to manipulate her so that they can have it themselves. That's basically what this movie is. And this is supposed to be the final X-Men film of this trilogy. As everybody knows, Fox and Disney has merged. And that's already over with. Disney owns Fox. And this was 20th Century Fox's way of saying, we still want to close our trilogy. And we want all the money we can get out of this before this happens. This film was originally going to open up in November of last year. Then they pushed it up to February. Then they pushed it up again to June 7th. Mostly because a lot of audience and test screenings all failed. And as I mentioned in my last video, I didn't think this movie was going to make it. Sadly, when I watched it, I hate to say this, but I feel like I was right. Because I, I really didn't get that much from this film. Starting off with the positives, because I never want to start a review on a negative note. The cinematography and the look and the lighting was done really well. It was really beautiful. It, was, it had that cosmic feel. Fiery tone. I really enjoyed that. The acting in it by Michael Fassbender and James McAvoy and everybody wasn't bad. I liked the way they played these characters. Ever since the studio chose them to play the younger characters, I felt like they made a really wise choice. Because these actors since then has gone on to do greater and better things even outside the X-Men verse. I really did enjoy their acting in this film. Jessica Chastain plays the villain and I thought she did a pretty good job as the head of the alien race that was trying to take over the power from Jean Grey and manipulating her. I thought she did a really good job. And now for the negatives folks. I really didn't feel like the tone of this was done right. This was supposed to be the finale of this series. Like how Logan ended the whole Hugh Jackman story, it wasn't that film. Dark Phoenix was toned down and it didn't have that same feel that Logan did, which was uplifting and it was epic. All the ingredients you wanted for a finale, that's what Logan did. This film, not so much. The action was all over the place. You could tell that Simon Kinberg, even though he's a longtime writer of this series, he didn't really know how to direct to action. A good writer does not always equal a good director. As much as that pains me to say, it's true. When the action would start, as it would go on, it was all over the place. It just felt like it wasn't trying. It felt like the film was failing on so many levels because of that. Which really disappointed me because when you see an X-Men film, you expect the action to be epic. It wasn't that epic. The pacing was a little off. This was the shortest out of the X-Men franchise since the first few came out. This film has gone in for test screening so many times. It has been pushed back so many times. They've done reshoots. The original ending was supposed to be in space. But the studio wanted to reshoot it, so they did, and it ends on a train instead. While well, some of those moments did kind of rope me in, it just felt a little off. The story could have been so much better. The story is what it is. This girl fighting with her powers, and this alien race was trying to manipulate her and trying to steal it for themselves. Some people could say that, well, that's pretty good, but... To me, because the film was done the way it was, and it kept on getting pushed back so many times, it just didn't work. This film could have been so much better. It could have ended on a much greater scale. Did it top X-Men The Last Stand? No, but its heart was in the right place. So in conclusion, if you're an X-Men fan, a, a hardcore X-Men fan, you might not enjoy this, but if you're looking for something different, and you want something just a little small scale and you don't really sit your hopes high, then you may enjoy it. I'm gonna give Dark Phoenix a C. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Like, subscribe, get reputized, share and tell your friends. Make sure to hit that bell icon as well so you don't miss a thing. What did you think of Dark Phoenix? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Tell me your thoughts down below. Stay tuned for more videos and reviews coming soon. Peace to Rip.